Hey guys, it's Alex C with TFP TV, and for today's run and gun, we're going to be featuring a Matson M47 lightweight military rifle. The Matson M47 has the distinction of being the last bolt action military rifle designed with general issue in mind. These were designed in the late 40s and issued, excuse me, well, for sale in the early 50s. The only evidence I can find of sale is actually to Columbia. Um, more specifically the Colombian Navy and they sold about 5,030 six despite marketing these in tons of calibers. Um, they have a typical flag safety and feature a split bridge here. You can see that when I lift the handle they are cock on open it draws the cocking piece to the rear. Um, there is a bolt guide rib because they are split bridge guns and yeah they're pretty bog standard military bolt action rifles. Other than that, they are uh, very nice. Like I said, they have a flag safety with an interesting spring-loaded bit that uh, acts as kind of a little redundancy there. They have excellent sights, actually. An aperture instead of a typical notch on the rear sight, and then a hooded front sight post, which is great. Like I said, the bolt handle slash guide rib functions as the safety lug. It doesn't have an independent safety lug. I really don't like that in a bolt-action rifle. Primary extraction is achieved by means of an extension, or rather a surface, a cam surface milled onto the receiver ring. These actually are also quite interesting because they feature a muzzle brake and a rubber recoil pad that's quite thick and makes these very pleasant to shoot in 30 6 Your controls are going to be pretty standard as well. They've got a very forward mounted bolt handle. They are rear locking, unlike a Mauser with its large receiver ring and front mounted locking lugs. But this does offer some great sand, dirt resistance, what have you. There also is a bolt hold open kind of uh, extension on the follower. So what kind of screws us in this run and gun as a heads up is the stripper clips. I don't have enough proper stripper clips, so I just found that Swedish Mauser stripper clips work. For those that don't know, Springfield 1903 clips kind of suck because they have these little tabs and the section that's kind of springy tends to fall out. So the run and gun course is going to be 25 shots with four reloads at about 60 yards with the first 20 shots fired at a steel silhouette and the last five fired on a paper silhouette. Let's see how the Madsen performs. Alright guys it's Thanksgiving Day and it's raining but you can't say we don't have moxie I guess so here we go with the Madsen M47. All right, let's go down range and check that one out. All right, guys, it looks like I only missed one on the steel out of 20 shots, so I'll count the pings in the video to verify that, but this is a very accurate gun with great sights, with very quick target acquisition. So let's move to the paper. I took five hits on the paper, and I definitely pulled them a little to the right. Um, when I was on the last stage when I was moving, I could kind of feel that, actually. I was kind of jumbling around and then just kind of getting the shots off as quick as I could in a hurry. Nonetheless though, we got five out of five on this, so I believe it's 24 out of 25. I'll put the totals, hits versus misses here. And I think I did pretty good with this gun. So the Madsen performed actually very well. Um, obviously one thing that held it back was the awkward placement of the bolt handle, which is forward. And you do have to snap your wrist right back on the trigger very proactively with each shot. 
The stripper clips also did cause a problem, as you saw me kind of fumbling with them a few times, but all in all, it was still a pretty good run. This rifle is definitely light and handy, and that really helped, along with the truly excellent sights. The general handling characteristics are awesome. The rubber recoil pad and the muzzle brake make for a great shooting rifle. There's a good reason why I actually have two of these, one to kind of keep away, and one actually as a kind of pest control management on my property north of where I live full-time, so... I was really happy with this run. I've never shot this with haste, but this was a fun run and gun, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Anyways, big thanks to Ventura Munitions, our sponsor. Also, if you liked what you saw, hit that subscribe button. This is Alex C. with TFP TV. Hope to see you next time.